How's it going guys? Ryan with Drac Inspire Gaming here, back again with another video. This is going to be a bonus video, uh, because I saw this had just come out, and I totally wasn't even aware that the guys were working on it, but when I saw it, I got super excited. Uh, this is Welcome to the Game 2. The game has just begun. And I don't know how many of you have played Welcome to the Game, uh, the first one, but it was just a little indie title. This is by a studio, I believe, of two guys. And the first one was amazing. It was basically you were just like this student and you were browsing around on the dark web and people would try to break into your house and hack your computer and stuff like that. And it was just very... They had a lot of... Like, there was a few jump scare moments where I might have screamed like a little girl. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so I saw this one and I was like, oh, I'm definitely going to get into this. Uh, they've taken it far more in depth this time than they did in the first one. Um, I mean, these two guys have done a really, really bang up job for it being a two man studio. Uh, this one supposedly adds this whole story, a plot. Um, you still have the deep web and the dark web stuff, um, which is always fun. I myself have explored the dark web quite a bit. Actually, I don't do it as much anymore since the past, the whole NSA can, you know, backlog IPs that have accessed the Tor network, and so I just try to stay off of it now. Um, but yeah, this one should be fun on a bun. Now, I made sure to wait. It's, uh, it's the middle of the night when I'm recording this. It is, uh, 11.02 p.m. It's dark. It's creepy. The atmosphere is right. Let's get in and see if we can't get our, our socks scared off. You are Clint Edwards, an investigative reporter for one of the leading online news sites. You are investigating the mis mysterious disappearances and murders related to the deep web. You are deep in your case and about to make a breakthrough. But then you get a call from someone least expected. Pro tip, the game auto saves your progress every 15 minutes. Let's see, to the, okay, that went too fast for me to read. Okay, it looks like we're in. We're getting a call from Adam. Okay, what am I checking out? Okay, so I guess the, the dot .an is their, uh, yeah, anonymous node network. So dot .an is going to be the equivalent of their onion links, and an is their equivalent to Tor. No, oh, this is going to be a red room site, isn't it? Oh, wait. Here comes a new girl. <laughs> what just happened to the subtitles? <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be like that. My name is Amelia Lewis. Someone has kidnapped me. Can we vote? I don't know where the fuck No, I we am. can't vote. It's, it's dark. Who is this girl? Is this real? Roll on the floor laughing. I think there's blood on the floor. What is she talking about? <laughs> Dude, they even put in the buffer times. Like, I don't know if any of you guys have ever used the Tor network, but it's like going back to the days of dial-up. I found this cult called the, the Prey, I think. I don't know what happened after that. I... I just saw these, these fucked up images and these men in masks. And I woke up here. Hello? I, I need to hide. I need to Interesting. Getting on the shadow web is a task on its own. The shadow web is a whole other level than deep web. It requires special software. Further, find out who she is. 
Okay, so they really need to uh, increase the speed on their subtitles because it is like not even at all in sync with the guy talking. But again, it's only two guys, so you got to give them a little bit of a slack. Um, and I'm guessing that the shadow web is going to be their equivalent of the dark web, which, I mean, the deep web, dark web separation thing, um, I never really got too much, bought too much into that. Just like people in the fabled Mariana web, or the deepest of the deep web. I don't know. Okay, so we've got the prey and noir. The toxicity that you're seeing over here is pretty accurate for a lot of the stuff I've seen on the deep web. There's some terrible people out there. to source up the tunnel she used and placed it on your desktop. Unlocking this should reveal the location of where she's being held. The site seems to have a cutoff time at 4 a.m. tonight. After that, I'm afraid what will happen to her. Okay, so we only have till 4 a.m.? Yeah, so this is a little bit like the first one, because in that one you were kind of searching around trying to find different pieces to get into a, a hidden site. Okay, so it's going to have one, two, three, all the way down to eight. Now all right. Yeah, I remember this from before. That's actually accurate on the Tor network as well. There are several sites where it'll just be like this little dot over in the bottom far corner. You click on it and it's actually a link to something else. That kind of stuff was awesome. Always there. That's one of the reasons why I spent so much time there. It was a bit like you were an explorer, like an internet explorer. Ha! <laughs> Pun intended. Okay. Upon your search, you may come across oh, there's some more garbled text. Okay, so we got Node Hacker and Noir Lucas Breather. 
uh, memory defragger, stack punisher. Okay, so this is a bit like the uh, the last one was too, where you had ha hackers that would try to get into your system if you treaded it in the wrong place. Okay, so there's the noir tunnel. We've got the shadow market, zero day market. We got our notepad. We're gonna need that for recording our keys. This is the anonymous node network. Okay, Noir Tunnel, that's where we'll input our master key. Okay, we gotta buy it with whatever they're saying the equivalent of. That, they're basically wanting to take it on Bitcoin, but I don't know what they're calling it. Okay, we got the shadow market. Okay, DOS coin. Hey, I've got 10 DOS coin, bud. What is happening with all of this? That's not right. Okay. Thanks, guy. I didn't understand how, you know, coins and buying things worked. Uh, motion sensor DOS, blah, blah, blah. No remote VPNs active. Okay, so let's back away from this. How do we get a remote VPN? What is this? Okay, so is that our Wi-Fi? I think that's our Wi-Fi. Got our camera there. So this must be our apartment. What's this over here? Okay, so it's a little jittery. But again, it's still early on. Where do I get the remote VPN stuff, though? That's what I want to know. Okay. Uh, I feel like if we're, we're going to end up having somebody at our door. Okay, what is... That garage door opener. Uh, paperwork. Okay, we've got our balcony. Can we jump? Okay, we can go over like this. Woo! Okay. Well, it's definitely bigger than the other one because in the other one you couldn't even stand up from your desk. We've got a whole environment going on here. Let's see. Seize date. Yeah, USB jump drives. I'm curious as to what this is, though. I think this is our remote VPN, maybe. Unless it's just our Wi Fi dongle. Okay, it's got to just. Okay, here we go. We can sit it right here. Got it. Okay, 
None of those are active. What do we got here? No motion sensors active. Okay. So we have somebody with free Wi-Fi, no virus. Likely story. Okay, we've got the Winslows. Uh, John's Law. Wi-Fi uh, Alley. I guess we're going free Wi-Fi, no viruses. Unable to connect. Uh, pockets of illegal activity. Zone wall. Okay, we can do a test hack. Okay, well that was easy. Okay, so we got Skybreak. Looking to crack some local Wi-Fi's. Sure. Okay, so the zero day market's gonna be our software and the shadow market's gonna be our hardware. Let's see, this is only going to yeah, that's only going to allow us to crack WEP, which, if anybody's using WEP, they're idiots. That takes us like 30 seconds to crack. And then we got WPA and WPA2, so that's going to actually get into using handshakes. Let's see, backdoor hack. Looking to score some extra DOS coin. These one time use scripts will steal DOS coin each time you block a hack. Okay. VPN. Reduce the chance of getting hacked by 20%. Now oh, we got VPN upgrades. Cool. All right, Skybreak is owned. Let's pop that open. Okay. What commands do we got? Uh, select which track you would like to use. Okay. Oh, can really, dude? I just got started, and you're already hacking me. You're a dick, dude. You're a total dick. Alright, let's go. Insta hack block. God, what a dick, dude. Okay, optionally you can see a list of the characters you've got. So, Alright, I already know I do. So I've only got web. Okay, so let's see. What do we got? We got, come on, resize for me. All right, scan. Yeah, let's just do a scan real quick. Hopefully this will tell us who's using WEP and who's not. So it's only Wi-Fi Alpha. All right, cool. Uh, da, 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 probe. Use this to scan the wireless device for open, open one. Correct. I don't even think we need to scan for an open one because it's the only one available. So let's just crack. Uh, let's see what. Tell me that this is a terminal that allows for copying and pasting. It is not. Ah, oh, what a dick. All right. Zero X. Who the hell types these things up? Nobody is the correct answer. Okay, five, seven. Anybody that uses Kali just copies and pastes. I mean, unless you're like a really fast typist, which I am definitely not, especially in the middle of the dark. There you go, channel seven. Ah, oh, we have to scan it. Fudge. Hmm. Huh. Okay, so I guess we're going to go back and we're going to scan. Yeah. Uh, sorry, probe. I meant probe. 
and then we'll start at port one and we'll end at port 1000 and we'll see which ports open because we're gonna need that for the crack this could take a little while since we're running through all 1000 ports the real question is how many times do we get hacked before then And I love that they actually designed this around like like actual tool like uh, syntax. Cause this one isn't. It's not actually that much different. Air. Fuck. 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 I can't see anything. Oh shit. Oh god. Jesus Christ. That's the shit out. Ah, what? Swatted? Ah, <laughs> uh, God, really? <laughs> okay, guys, well... <laughs> That was uh, welcome to the game too. I guess. <laughs> should I just end it there? Or should we try again? No, we're 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 totally trying again. But we'll see if we can't just skip over what's his face's speech this whole time because his voice acting isn't the greatest. Now this video might run a little long actually, um, just because I do want to play this game at night. Just like what just happened scared the sh out of me. I don't know about you guys because you're probably watching this during the daytime, but. Uh, I got swatted. I didn't even do anything, actually. Like I was just, pro I, don't know, I guess, probing the network, but I didn't, I didn't even crack the network yet. Which means, like, what laws did I break? I mean, really? Unless they backtraced me from when I was watching the video of the chick. I don't, I don't know. Let's see. Call if you need a VoIP. Blah blah blah. I think next time we should actually look at that paper. I heard you were looking for. Can we skip him? Hey, we can skip. Awesome. Which Wi-Fi are we on? Okay, so we're on the TP link. Okay, so we're on the local right now. Uh, dude, I know about DOS coin. Get out of here. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, let's get Skybreak. While we're on our network. Well, actually, that might even be even dumber now that I think about it. Why did I order this water? Mm. SS Wi Fi, D3 Sumtom. Bring beer to 502. <laughs> classy. Keeping it classy. So I wonder if that means that any time I try to crack that one, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get nabbed, maybe. I don't know. Let's just let's just try it from where we are, currently, just just to see if we get hit again. Okay, so web uh, scan. Let's see if any of them in the actual building are. Oh, we got two. So we got SS Wi-Fi. And then we got the, the D59709, which is probably a D-Link router. So let's let's probe it. Uh, let's do 5C-3W-L9. AU-07. Uh, and we'll do this time let's just do a higher range right so we'll do uh, let's do 200 and then we'll do that to 600 could not find network ID blah 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 it's because it's got to be caps doesn't it AU L 
W. C. Was I supposed to put the channel in there? I think I was supposed to put the channel in there. Can we do Control C on this? No. Shit. We can't exit it. All right. Guess we'll hope for the best. Four hundred. Come on. Come on. Five hundred. Come on. You're almost there. Six hundred. I hear this weird sound behind me. Could not find an open port on. Let's just check. I think I was supposed to put in the channel. No, I wasn't. Hmm. So let's try the same one again. But let's do 1 to 200. Maybe there's one in the beginning. Come on, buddy. Shit, nothing there either. All right, let's try 600 to 1,000, I guess. We'll do a 400 scan. Watch it be port 1,000. Hey, there it is. Okay, so it's port uh, 715. Okay, so then we can do... Which channel was that? Da -da 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 -da. Channel 8. Okay, so it's channel 8, port 715. Okay. Now this is a web key. I don't know why it would take this long. Wait, it's only at 500 keys per second? That is a garbage hash rate, bro. What is this, a Celeron? Okay, password found. Gators. Cool. All right, let's uh, open up our notebook here. Okay, enter note. Wi-Fi, so it's uh, D59. D59. Is it, let's see, D59709. 709. Password. Gators. All right, cool. So we got that one. Too bad they don't have like network probes on this. That'd be cool. You just start messing around with the neighbors. But I guess we're supposed to be doing stuff specific, right? So nine Y W N I Q P let's see P P J V. Now, unless you're like into cybersecurity and hacking that kind of thing. This probably isn't going to be that interesting to you guys. You guys are probably going to be more interested later on once we start getting into like the horror side of things. Um, but actually, this is this is way more accurate than I thought it was going to be. Like I've played a lot of like the hacking sim games that they've got out of there. Let's see, two hundred, uh, five hundred. Um, uh, like Uplink, uh, Hacker Evolution, uh, Slave Hack. Whew, that was quick. Cool. Hold on. Uh, we're going to crack it. Uh, that one's going to be 8-2. 
Uh, let's see. Okay. So the eight crack. Um, but yeah, so net hack, um, slave hack, <sighs> hack mud. Um, yeah, I've played pretty much all of them. Um, I think the most fun I've had on this, like hack net and hack net labyrinth were probably my, my favorites, but they weren't super realistic. Um, Hack Mud was pretty cool too, just because it was like a multiplayer aspect and you could make your own scripts. Um, but none of the syntax was really right. Alright, cool. So, Wi Fi, SS Wi Fi. Password is 1989. Somebody's birthday. All right, Coolio. And maybe it was because I opened up Ann before that the that they came swatting at our door. Like you think, like that was the NSA track cam. The same reason why I don't actually go and do uh, do any of that stuff anymore. All right, so let's switch our Wi-Fi to one of our neighbors, just to give us a few degrees of separation. All right, so let's go with SS Wi-Fi. 1980, whoops, 9, that's 7, alright, we're connected, now I'm guessing the stronger the signal, the faster the speed, but let's find out. Okay, we've saved a home page, hopefully it's a directory. All right, Tor Network's <laughs> Tor Network speed loading times. All right, so now we're in to the directory, which this is going to be, I guess, their version of the hidden wiki. Uh, hopefully, it has less dead links than the hidden wiki. Let's see, burned at the scape. Group of people who hunt down witches. Uh, we got a hacker group. That's probably one that we don't want to really hang out with yet until we get our firewall up. Uh, stalker threat of women. New site beyond the deep web. Uh, don't waste it. Better not waste it. All right, let's just see what that is. Because that seems interesting. Hopefully this isn't something I'm going to have to censor out from you guys. Because I heard this game can get pretty... <laughs> what? What is this crap? Is that supposed to be like you're supposed to Okay. What do we got down here? So one one nine five six 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 nine. Can you view source pages on this? Okay. So that's got a really weird sound effect in the background. I don't know what it is with this chick with the weird eyes and all these kids like hanging around her, but I wonder if this isn't like one of the hashes, but it doesn't look like it. Let's see what happens if we click on the urinal. So we have yes or no. Okay, so this is what happens if we say no. Okay, so there's nothing there. 
So that's now. And this is yes. I feel like there has to be something on the other one because there was just too much weird writing. I don't know. We'll come back to this one. I want to see if we can't find something something a bit more interesting. And that being said, weird things like that where it doesn't really make any sense. You see a lot of that on the deep web. Game cat, expect pleasure. Okay. Is this gambling? Let it be gambling. I have two I have two DOS coins. I'm ready to get get, get on some gambling. Uh, okay, so this is one of them that's only available at a certain time. Uh, yeah, they've even got the pedo communities and stuff on here. Ugh. You'll see a lot of that there, too. Uh, we have the eye. Come on. Okay. Doesn't look like they've hit anything. Wait. So that's the only image, the only element on there, and it's not clickable. Okay. Now that things like this is also not uncommon. Like I still remember like the flying dildo, which was just this gif of this dildo with wings just like flying in a sky background it's been there forever uh, let's see random poem site da, 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 snuff oh god and I feel like we have to go to the nasty ones because that's where they're going to be hiding the stuff because it is a cult that's going around killing people right so uh, alright here we go Please don't let this be the NSA, and then they're going to swap me again. You're going to swap me again, aren't you, bro? Alright, we got this. Back. Ah, oh, it's supposed to be click, not spacebar. Insta hack block. Boom. Oh, and the page isn't even available? That's stupid. Alright, so we, we were just hacked here, so let's actually switch our Wi-Fi's. Because I don't want a lot of traffic to the same Wi-Fi. So, gators. I don't know if they've thought that far ahead, but just just to be safe, we'll, we'll switch it up. I don't know why I just tried to reload this page. Okay. I have no idea what the fuck this is, so let's try it. I know I guess the most symptomatic thing would be to just go in order, but we're going to jump around a little bit. Wait, what is that? That would be number seven. That is what that is. Okay, so we got the seventh key. Or the seventh hash, sorry. So one down, a few more to go. Now I wonder if this one's going to be like the first one where the more that you find, the the riskier and harder things become. Like the first one was tough, dude. What was that?
I swore I heard something. Please don't let there be anybody in my house. I swear I heard something clanging behind me. Let's see, call log sees through data, multiple calls from unknown caller, heavy breathing, always at 10 p.m. through way up in the night of the incident. Who is Adam? Okay, so that's another dead link. I just, sorry I'm jumping, but I just remember in the old one, like if you heard the slightest sound, you had to like check and move. I guess we'll go to the first one, burned at the stake. For the people that are still hunting down witches. And dead. Well, they did manage to recreate just as many dead links as the the base wiki has. <laughs> like the hidden wiki has so many dead links. Uh should we even go to the hacker group? Like I feel like it's asking for trouble. Let's just go to the Starker Starker thread. Go hang out with some stalkers, because they're good peoples. <sighs> Damn, they're all toasted. All right, Satanist site. Is it going to be on the Satanist site? Or maybe it'll be on the random personal blog site. Or the news site. Uh, it could be any of them, actually. Fucking hell, dog. Why are they all down right now? Or are they down? Is it the Wi-Fi that's causing the issue? Okay, here we go. Hidden Pleasures 2.0. Hidden Pleasures is relocated after a takedown and new security systems have been put in place. Hidden Pleasures is an online marketplace to transfer the ownership of girls from across the world. After seizure from the FBI in the late 2012, Hidden Pleasures has relocated and increased its security. Browser and tr browse and trade confidently. Welcome to Hidden Pleasures 2.0. We provide escrow services per trade for average free blah, 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 blah. When multiple girls share the same name and the same age, they are differentiated by using... Okay. Uh, Disclaimer, all girls on this are property of the current owners, hold ownership, STDs, anything else. We highly recommend that you purchase testing upon receiving. Messaging is encrypted with password. Please let us know. Contact us here. Begin PGP public key. So that's the public encryption key. Age 14 in Japan. Oh, God. Yeah, this is just as bad as... What's that? Wait, can you actually talk to these people? Fuck. Well, we were kind of asking for that. Yeah, get out of here with your stupid crap, bud. What? What is this? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I don't know how to do whatever that mini game was. All right, let's just message the seller and see what happens. Hmm. 
Okay, I think that about sums up how I feel about this website. Now, you have to sign in in order to do that. Of course you do. So, I wonder if there's any hidden links on here. Okay, let's scroll down. Maybe there's something in one of these. I'm not seeing anything. All right, there's a lot to cover in that one, so we'll come back to that one. Let's go to deep dive. Fucking hell, seriously. This guy's an asshole. He's pinged my IP and now he just won't leave me the fuck alone. And I don't know what the hell that minigame was, but... Oh, shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. I have no idea how to do that one. How do you even do that? <sighs> All right, we're gonna end up losing our notes if that keeps happening. So let's uh, let's just disconnect all together. <sighs> let's see, instructions. Okay, so that's not the one. Is it the stack punisher? It is the stack punisher. Uh, you will present it with a stack grid much like this. To successfully defend against the stack overflow attack using the stack, you must push the stack node. Fucking FBI again, really? Uh, I'm not even going to get up from my desk. Are they just going to like burst in? I don't even want to get up from my desk. I already know what it is. I just got swatted again by this stupid hacker. Oh, God. All right. I guess we'll just take what's coming to us. Wait, is it the hacker? I think it's the SWAT team. Hopefully they're going after the neighbors since I was on their Wi-Fi. Uh, I don't know what's happening and it makes me upset. Can we get out the back? Please say we can get out the back. Open the door. Run. Run. Get out. Alright. We ain't, they ain't getting us this time. Hopefully. I <laughs> wonder... I wonder if they're swatting the neighbor. They probably are. Oh, I can't go up any higher? Wait, can I jump over this? No. Because if I could set the, the Wi-Fi card onto the neighbors, that'd be pretty sweet. Ugh, what is even the point of being able to come out here? I feel like they're waiting for me. I really do. Can I crouch or anything? Oh, I can crouch. All right, cool. Ugh, I don't want to go back in here. Like, if you're gonna just just do it already, I can't do it. I can't go in there. I don't want to go in there. It's dark. I don't know how to turn the lights back on. Everybody else's lights are on. Oh, just do it. I can't see shit, guys. Wait, what is that? Oh, I 
I can't see anything. I'm stuck on something. Like, all I want to do is look out my peephole. Is it so hard to look out a peephole? Or have somebody kick in the door already? Like, I'm over it. If you're gonna jump scare me, just jump scare me. All right, guys, we're uh, we're gonna end it here because I I'm gonna I'm just gonna have to restart it anyways <sighs> because I I can't find my way around. Yeah, so the game premise is a, is a lot like the first one, uh, but there definitely is more of a a backstory going on. I think we're gonna spend some more time with this. Um, I heard it was difficult. Um, I mean, the first one was, so it didn't surprise me that this one would be too. Um, but some of it seems a little unnecessary. Like, like when the lights go out, like you literally can't see anything. Like, there needs to be an option for adjusting brightness. Like we can adjust the resolution and all that other stuff, and we can turn off the nudity or turn off the microphone, which I'm wondering why we need to have a microphone. Um, but we should be able to adjust brightness because, I mean, in that room, like, I just spent way too long just looking for a peephole. And then, like, the, the subtitle stuff, and then you get hacked real easy. Um... And then once they hit you the first time, man, they're just going to keep coming. And then you get swatted. Um, so, yeah. And we haven't even gotten into, like, Hitman and the whole cult that we're after in the first place. We got a single key. That was it. Um, <laughs> I am wondering if this is, like, the first one. One of the things I did in the first one is I actually kept a handwritten handbook. And when I would get one of the hashes, I would write it down in that. And so that way, even if I died, I still had those hashes, Right. So I would still, I would just then go continue looking for the ones I did. So I think I died like eight or nine times in the first one. But I still managed to end up making it to the end because each time I came up with another key. So I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to in this one or if it's random gen each time you click on new game. But yeah, so I would love for you guys to let me know what you think of games like this down in the, down in the comments below. Um, if you liked it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Um... And if you like what I do, subscribe to the channel. Uh, that way you can help support me as I can keep bringing you some of this quality content. But other than that, I will see you in the next episode. I'm out.